Hey guys, my name is Jezzy and welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys my personal most efficient route and tips for taking down the rogues in the water treatment plant on Lighthouse. The rogue Usex in Tarkov have the most insane aim and reflexes out of any of the AI in Tarkov. Taking them head on like a normal scav is a big mistake. And to fight them, you need to play smart with your peeking angles. I'm first going to teach you how to peek the rogues in the most viable way, utilizing the slow peek in Tarkov. The default binds are to hold the Alt key and press and hold A or D to lean in the specified direction. To peek the rogues, you must always be peeking to the right hand side, only exposing the most minimal amount of your head. When you do this correctly, the rogues may acknowledge you're in the area with voice lines, but they will not shoot at you. Now, let's talk about a very important spot that we are going to use on this route to take out a large majority of the rogues on the map. On the eastern side of the water treatment, close to the river, we are going to stick to the outside of the blue perimeter fence. As long as you don't get much closer than this, this rogue will not shoot at you as he seems fairly blind in comparison to the others. Once he has been taken care of, we only have one rooftop rogue to worry about shooting us, and that's at the right side corner of the northern roof, closest to the train station. You want to right side peek the building here to get a good shot on him. Please note that whenever you shoot at the turreted gunners on this map, if you do not get a clean one tap headshot, the rogue will stand up and relocate whilst he heals himself back up. He will then return back to his station 60 seconds later, so keep an eye out. From here, you now have free reign to take out the rest of the rooftop gunners, and the two at the front entrance to the south. There will be two more on the rooftop to the north, one of which we will take out now, and one later. Then there are two on the western roof, one on each side, and then the two front gunners can be taken out from the concrete doorway right here also. If you're not too bothered about maximizing your XP gained from killing rogues, one strategy that I use is to leave the front gunners alive and use them to, fr to defend the front entrance from other players and player scabs, or simply to be an audio alarm to alert you if somebody is over that side. Okay. Now we are ready to move on to taking the three rogues that hover around the helicopter area. We don't have to move far, just up onto the rocks behind. Please be wary that there are mines if you wander away from the rocks to the southeast of our location. What we are looking for here is the parts of the rocks that give us a safe angle to peek from the right side, only exposing our heads and covering our character's body. Then, once you're comfortable, we want to scout the area surrounding the helicopter. One thing I've noticed is sometimes they hide behind this blue container in the center of the water treatment. You may want to shoot near here or even move down and throw a grenade in this direction to identify where they might be hiding. Personally, I don't waste much time looking for them. If they are simply hiding too well, then I will just move on to my next position. From here, we have two options. We can either move up and over the rocks to take out the remaining gunner on the eastern roof. He will more than, more than likely be stood next to his mounted gun. Or you can completely ignore him and move down through his warehouse. He only covers the eastern rocks so it's completely fine to ignore him if you're not too bothered about the XP. Now at this point in the raid, if everything has gone smoothly to plan, we should have 5 raiders left to worry about. One on the northern rooftop, he usually sits on his gun in the northwest corner watching over the train station. And then we have the main challenge, and where we're going to get all of that sweet rogue loot to reward for all of our hard work. And this comes with the four rogues that roam around and defend the ground level of the north warehouse. Now there are many angles that I use and work around but it is all situational to where they spawn and how much they are patrolling around the ground floor. Firstly, I leave the warehouse door and take a right. I use cover behind a white box truck. From here, I can peek through the driver's door to look down the side of the warehouse. 
from here, I move from cover to cover behind the grey container here and the white fuel tank next to it. From these angles, you can see into the warehouse where the rogues may be sitting. If you still have no visual, you will then have to move up to the warehouse, being careful that the rogues are not sat up on the blue catwalks in the entrance. Your main goal here is to attract the rogues by letting them either spot you or use a grenade to get their attention. Then we will quickly return to our original positions to make full use of the right hand peaks to eliminate them. Once you've taken them out, you can then loot up and then think about extracting. Your options are going to be the northern checkpoint, the vehicle extract at the northeast road, or path to shoreline, which is backtracking back over the mountains. If it is late in the raid, you could also utilize the armored train extract, which is in the train station just next to us. Once moving up to the train station, you can also get a nice easy angle just below the final gunner to take him out. And that's it guys, you're now successfully a rogue hunter. Please let me know how your runs go, or let me know any of your other favorite tactics for taking on the rogues in the comments below. Thank you for your time, and we will see you in the next video.